Right, I've seen a lot of people get their airgun ammunition and throw it straight into the gun. In fact I've just done the same out there, but I've done it for a reason. When you buy pallets, some are better than others. There's generally a fine film of lead, swarf, and ideally you want to remove that. You don't want it going in the barrel. So this is how you prepare your pellets, okay? Put them in a container. Now, I've bought five cans of pellets. I like to buy in bulk, it's much cheaper. So I'm just going to throw them all in. Just get some hot water running. There we go. Okay. Some good hot water. Give it a good fill. And then a good squirt of a decent detergent. Put the lid back on and basically give them a good shake, agitate them, the detergent removes any oil, any machining oil, it also carries away any of the swarf and all you have to do now is just I don't know whether you can see this, but right at the bottom of this container here. Can you see all this? Just to prove it's not on the outside, it's actually on the inside. And that's what we're looking to remove. It's just, just machining swarf. Now, I'm just going to leave those just for a few minutes. I'll leave the video running simply because it's easier but you can always just fast forward to the next bit you know, there's, again look as you can see it's definitely there's definitely lead swarf in there I'm just going to sit and let those clean up. Remember lead is poisonous. So I'll give your hands a wash. and I'll be back in a few moments. Right, they've had a few minutes just to soak in a bit of warm detergent water so all I'm going to do now is turn the cold tap on take the lid off just zoom in a little bit if I can And put them under the cold tap and just let cold water rinse through them. Okay, 
can see that's nice. Clear water. We'll drain that off. pellets to dry. Now I'm using a, this is it's an old dishcloth that we use, because obviously as I've said these, these things are lead. And it is a toxic heavy metal, so I'm just going to spread that out, like so, and just come back out a little bit, there we go. Don't be rough with them, because what you don't want to do is damage the skirts. And I'm just going to let them, because it's quite warm in here, we've got the heating on. I'm going to thin them out. And I'm just going to allow those to dry a little bit. Now, this is the other important. This is Napier um, power, power pellet lube. I've used this for quite a number of years, it's extremely good stuff. I do know some new users WD-40. Um, personally I'm a great believer in right tool for the right job. I use this in my HW100 uh, with great success. So I've got no problems using it on these. The other thing I'm going to do is the tins. I'm just going to give the tins a rinse because obviously you can't see this. You can see the end of my finger there. But if I go in there, there isn't much. But there is just a tiny little bit of, of swarf and lead. So I'm going to do, as I did with this, I'm just going to put them in there sink with a drop of detergent, a drop of hot water just to help deal with any any swarf that may have just sort of crept in at the factory. Some people excuse me, some people might consider this overkill. I'm really not bothered at the end of the day. It's my gun. It's one of those jobs that it's half an hour well spent in my book as it maintains an accurate and well functioning gun. And it's not expensive, the, the pellet lube's about yeah, I know, three, four pound a bottle and you need literally three or four drops per can of pellets. So it's extremely economical stuff, but don't store it in sunlight, keep it somewhere dark, otherwise it loses its colour. Whether it loses any efficiency, I don't know. But there we go, there's the tins, just giving them a, a shake and a clean, and then a good rinse. This is fresh water. those to dry as well. I'll come back shortly, when the pellets have dried, I'll come back shortly and I'll show you the quick easy way of lubricating all of those pellets with the minimum of fuss. So, and anyhow I need a cup of tea or a drink, I'm very hot.
my other half's idea of central heating is Hawaiian heat or nothing at all. So there we go, I'm just going to put those to dry. I will be back in when those have dried. Speak to you soon. Right, just to facilitate drying them, uh, and certainly because I don't want any moisture in them, I've just put them in the oven at a very, very low heat, 90 degrees C for half an hour. I've taken them out and I've left them to cool. So, now just to make life easier for me, I'm going to do this all in one sort of lump sum. So, I'm going to take my container and I'm going to put in not all of them but a few a good handful of pellets there this is stuff I was referring to earlier sorry there we go made by a company called Napier okay and I'm going to basically one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten drops. Put the lid on. And just give that a... The idea is not to drown them in it, it's just to give them a very, very, very light coating so every pellet has a tiny bit of oil on it. So now I shall just... I shall add some more into the mix. And once again, I shall take my... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. all the remaining pellets that's 20 drops so it's five drops per can um, approximately so we've had 20 drops there's five things so we don't need much more so we'll one two three four five and two for good measure you see still plenty Still plenty left. And now I'll spend the next five minutes just gently agitating them. That'll ensure that they all receive. A decent coat and at the moment unfortunately the weather's horrible outside it's raining so I'm not going outside to do any tests now but as soon as I get the opportunity I'll go out and we'll try the accuracy tests again with the treated pellets and this is why I said in the, the earlier on that I wasn't that these had been untreated I wanted to try the treated versus the untreated so all these have now been treated so five minutes of this and that is how to prepare pellets properly for your gun to keep your gun working safely, effectively and keeping the barrel clean. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.